we were having some problems with the Zortrax Z-axis wasn't working anymore. So we removed the Z-axis Z motor, which was oops, which was down here, and took out the coupler. And it turns out that the coupler was broken. So this is the flexible coupler for the for the Z-axis motor. It had cracked. Don't know what kind of stress caused it to do that. Um, so we could either I noticed on the Zortrax website that in the replacement procedure they had two types. They had this spring type of coupler and they had the spider type coupler. And it looked like they were using the spider type coupler on the newer printers, newer versions. So I went ahead and ordered the spider type coupler, but not from Zortrax because the parts aren't available here in the US. This spider type coupler has a 5mm opening on one end, which matches the Zortrax coupler and then an 8mm opening on the other end and these are these couplers are available just on eBay shipping here within the US um, it was $10 for this coupler so here's the Zortrax Z-axis motor it slips on this end just fine and it's a bit longer but it should fit fine this, this one was 25mm um, long and the new one is 30 millimeters long. So, not a huge difference.